This is fun. Came home last night to the power off again because the lady didn't pay all of the previous tenant's bills and we didn't know if it was in time. Girls are gonna do a quick photo shoot. He just put his camera like this into a picture of me, like ten. Okay. <laughs> I know. I'm Check this out. This is cool. Getting started. They're gonna have a big parade tonight. trying really hard to get caught up anyways um we are actually now in India and I got stuck trying to edit this video so basically I asked on Instagram hey should I include this story or not it was a random story so it's not like it's gonna happen to you you know but 100% everybody said yes so I don't know that I'm still struggling so I don't really know what the point is except for to let you know that stuff sucks sometimes. But you should know that, because it's life, no matter if you're traveling or you're not traveling. It's really close to my face. Okay, I turned down the fan. I still can't talk super loud, because it's almost one, and I don't know how loud I am to the neighbors, and the kids would not go to sleep. They're finally going to sleep. Um, in this episode, <sighs> We're at the parade for Loi Kratong in late November in Chiang Mai, Thailand. Like it sounds like a good idea and we get there and I'm like, this is terrible. Like parade crowds are the worst. It's like you stand there, our kids were in front, we were there forever, but we're just fine, like whatever, just all hanging out, talking to a few families. And sure enough, as soon as the parade starts, a million people appear out of nowhere and stand right in front of you. So these two girls, young, I would say early 20s, stood right in front of Tay, Av, and our two friends, um, their kids. And we were like, oh, excuse me, would you mind scooting over or standing behind them? Like, I offered to let them stand in front of me behind my kids. And they were like, no, why should I? Like, straight off the bat. And then it just kind of kept progressing. They kept making snide remarks to our children. Children, okay? 8, 10, 11, 13 can't really move because like we've been there for three hours waiting and like my parents were with us my mom had her bad knee and I just anyways it was nuts <laughs> on though these girls keep scooting over and like making sure they're in front of our girls 
So I'm getting a little irritated and I'm trying to be super zen about it, right? Be the bigger person, be a good example, but I'm just like, come on. So then they like, you know, it's clear they're talking smack. They were speaking German and some other people came up behind them and it didn't seem like they were together, but they also spoke German. And uh, they're like glaring at me and talking and looking at the girls and talking and just irritating. Okay, so I'm gonna point out the one girl, but to the right of her, you can see I've pushed Abby in front again and I've shifted my girls over a bit. And what I'm about to tell you next means that the girl on the right with the dark hair has now shifted herself so far over that she is near Taven. This is how much they kept moving even though we kept trying to move the kids away from them. So I tried and I tried and I tried and I tried. And then, oh you guys. And then Taven turns around with like a look of shock on her face and just like that in breath and she just starts bawling and she's like holding herself. And I'm like, what's wrong? And Delia turns around and is like, she just hit Taven. And I was like, wait, what? And she's like, she just elbowed her. Like she just hit Taven really hard. And Taven's bawling, like because she's in pain. I didn't go to jail. You guys would be proud of me. Um, yeah. So I was like, move out of the way. And I went over and I was like, who touched my job? Right? So the guy behind was like, whoa, 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 no reason to get, you know, like I'm just this crazy American like about to attack. I was like, she hit my kid. And he was like, wait, what? And I'm like, she physically hit my child look at her she's crying and he looked at her and he was like and he like backed away and so this girl had the nerve still to be like hmm, well too bad i don't care you're a bleep 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 oh go back to your country bleep 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 i'm like you're not even in your country number one and number two you're a horrible human being your parents would be so ashamed i would hope and who hits a child? Like, I wanted to kill her. Um, yeah. This is what I'm saying. I don't know what the point in telling this story is, but that parade crowds suck. There's some really terrible people out there, tourists, and Taven at least felt like I had her back and stuck up for her. I still partially wish that I laid the girl flat because she deserved it greatly and I'm leaving a lot of little details out I mean it was obnoxious you guys so that was that situation um, at the very beginning of the video there was like a little clip of our power being out and we were bumping up the water from the fridge okay so this is just like some of the crap that can happen when you travel right um, video we'll just put it all in one video and then we'll move on to the good stuff um, cause I really don't want to be like a downer or like, oh, this, like, I'm always going to be real with you guys, but I really don't want to focus on the like, crap and like be super down. But <laughs> we rented our house in Chiang Mai for four months. We had friends over from England and I was going to cook them dinner and we came home from swimming. I was getting ready to cook dinner and everything's pitch black. And so it is blazing hot. No AC, obviously. Like... We cooked, I still cooked dinner by cell phone lights. Like, we thought it was hilarious. We were laughing, but like, it was crazy. So come to find out, like, okay, how do I make this short? This, this video does not need to be this long. Basically, the owner, oh no, she came over a few hours later, picked up the bill, went and paid it, and I'm like, okay, do we need to go pay like our month that we've been here? No, everything's paid, everything's paid, okay. Well, cut to the next month. We get the bill one day. I send somebody um, a copy of it to ask them to translate something for me so I know what to do and then ask them where to go pay it. Waiting for them to respond and our lights go out. And I'm like, you've got to be kidding me. Like the next day after the bill came. So I'm like, what in the world? Like, 
It's not even behind. She paid it all last time. This is like during the Lantern Festival when my parents were in town. So we had a really busy day that day and we got up that morning and she told us, make sure you go to this store. We're like, okay, we go to that store. We get there at eight o'clock. It doesn't open till 11. It's in a mall. We spent like 12 bucks, I think, round trip on taxis and we paid the bill. Come to find out <laughs> when she went in the office, August, August, September, and October were due. October was ours. We used that, so we needed to pay that, and she didn't tell us. She chose to pay August. She didn't pay September, so she left knowing the, um, that September was still late and October was still due and didn't tell us. Uh, it, it was a nightmare. So, anyways. Finally, I was like, okay. Um... I'm just, that last month we're staying, I'm deducting all of this from that rent. And so that's what I did. I ended up not paying her anything because by the time we were ready to leave, more stuff had happened and it was just crazy. So the Wi-Fi went out twice, three times from her not paying it, which is not okay when Wally's depending on that for work. Like we need that to survive. And the electricity I think was twice, and maybe a third time. Anyways, totally unacceptable and like totally avoidable. Like had she just paid and communicated with us. So that was a nightmare. The third thing, just because we're talking about nightmares, the thing that we probably hated most about Thailand and about in Chiang Mai, especially, because in Bangkok you can at least like kind of make a lot of amused to meet her because legally they're supposed to in Thailand but in Chiang Mai it's like a little mafia and they all got together and like no one will use the meter in Chiang Mai absolutely not and they always charge you you know they love to go to 300 baht which is 10 bucks for a ride that would cost a local like you know 40 cents so we would just laugh like my kids got to the point like they knew the prices and they would laugh and we'd walk away and then oh oh what will you pay what will you pay and we're like we live here oh okay well what will you pay i'm not gonna pay you nothing because you totally try to scam me i don't trust you i'm not paying you anything i'd rather walk and we have we've walked far because we're like on principle <laughs> we're not gonna pay uh anyways good times um there's no easy option the taxis in thailand are a pain um anyways those are our crappy things <laughs> oh gosh so it's not all roses there's a lot of stress right now i'm in planning stress and this apartment we're in we don't have a problem staying in a local apartment or a less western apartment that's not the problem although it is really uncomfortable the beds are so uncomfortable um and there's no shower so we're using bucket which is cool because a lot of people do it here and we're here so that's fine but um the problem is that it should have been a third of what it was and then I met someone who was like oh he's a known scammer the whole city knows he's a awful man and you should get out of there as soon as you can demand your money back go to the police so that'll be a fun update for you in a few videos see what happens so anyways the joys of full-time travel <laughs> uh, okay um what am I showing you guys next? Let's get this done. I think we're gonna show you when we went with my parents to see the elephants. So, definitely wanna show you that. Elephants and New Year's is what I'm thinking that I for sure wanna show you, and then hopefully I can just get to Cambodia, and then we have one fun, really fun day in Bangkok, and then we should be able to do India. So we're not that far away. Please hang in there with us. I'm really trying. If you have editing tips, give them to me. I am trying my hardest. Plus, we're still filming with the phone and um, just the free iMovie. So I'd really like to upgrade at some point, but right now we're just trying to figure out plane tickets to leave India. <laughs> ah, yeah, budget travel, especially when there's no Wi-Fi and Wally can't work. So um, say some prayers for us and wish us luck because it's a little hairy right now. Anyways, seriously. Welcome, if you're new. If you're not new and you're still with us, behind and all, I love you so much. And uh, yeah, I'll just be here with my pink, fluorescent pink holy hair and trying to navigate culture shock in it. Yeah. But meanwhile, uh, enjoy these Thailand videos. All right, love you. Yeah, get down, 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 get down
Thai guy. All Thai and Mona ethnic groups pay homage to His Majesty the King. Madin Trapte Payawarangun for his generosity and compassion. Do you want chocolate on it? Uh, yeah. Yeah? <laughs> Just a, a little bit. I'm gonna give vanilla a chocolate. A little bit. Oh, nice. I'm gonna give vanilla a chocolate. What do you say? Capcom crap? Ditch us to go hang out with his friends and then they went home Mommy, early. I know, that one's pretty. Yes, Chad. Mommy, I'm going to up here. What do you want to tell us? What does a parrot sound like? What does a parrot sound like? What? Probably want a cracker. What's a parrot sound like? Did you get shy? No. Uh, well, for help. <laughs> Wait, can I say something? What? Everyone, I'm eight and tomorrow's my baptism. dinosaurs do you like? No, that's so fun like. Oh, what does the dinosaur sound like? What? <laughs> You're right. Everyone's doing 
Straight, buddy. Straight. 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 Say it again. Oh yeah. Don't Straight. Tap. Oh yeah. Almost. Don't almost. Tap. Don't tap. Don't tap. Now say. Don't tap. Left. Left. Don't tap. Don't tap. Left. Left. <laughs> left. Ling say left. Yes. Right here, right here. Right here, this house. Yep, this is it.